Okay, this next rudiment that we're gonna do is the five stroke roll. The five stroke roll is, is something that you should start working on after you're able to get your double bounces in each stick, like we talked about with the rough and the drag. So we're gonna build on that idea. Um, what you want to do is before even this video, you wanna watch the video that I did of single stroke rolls to the double bounce rolls. And it talks and demonstrates just briefly an exercise that you can do that will help prepare you for the five stroke roll. But for right now, I will assume you have watched that and we will move forward with the five stroke roll itself. Five stroke roll is really three motions of the hand. So if we were to say it, it's a right motion, it's a left motion, and it's another right motion. Now you're like, well, that's only a three stroke roll. No, it'll be a five because the first right motion is a double bounce. So you got two rights. And then the second motion has two lefts because it's a double bounce. And then the last motion is a single stroke right. So right, right, left, left, right is the five stroke roll but you only have three motions to do all five strokes. So I'm gonna really loosen my fulcrum point so I can slow down the bounce. That's how I control the speed of the bounce. The looser the fulcrum, the slower the bounce, the tighter the fulcrum, the faster the bounce. So I am going to do a right. I start with my right fairly high, not too high, maybe six o'clock and three o'clock doesn't need to be super high for right now. So I just want to get double, double, tap. And that's how I remember it, double, double, tap when I put it together. But for right now, I'm going to separate them. So double, double, tap. That's five strokes. You heard five hits, but I have three motions to do it. So double, that's five stroke roll with the right. Then I reverse it and I lead with the left now. Double, double, tap. And being able to do it either way will affect how it falls in the music. You may have to lead with the left because of where it lays in the music. Or if you have successive five strokes, because it's an odd number, they will alternate. The first one will be lead with the right, the second one will lead with the left, and they'll alternate if they're successive five stroke rolls, which in Stars and Stripes you do have some successive um, five stroke rolls. And so that may be something that you need to do for that. And there's another way, because it's not too fast, that you can, um, you can get around that. But for right now, I'd like you to be alternating your five stroke rolls. The other thing you need to do is make sure that it has a good flow. So in order for it to sound like a five stroke roll, it can't be broken up like I just did. I just did that so you know how to do it. It needs to go together. So once I'm double bouncing this one, this stick is getting ready to double bounce and then this stick is getting ready to hit. So double, 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 or double, double tap. Double, double tap. Double, double tap. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna kind of push it. So I'm prepping this stick while this one's still double bouncing. This one's getting ready to come down and continuing. So I hear da 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 da. That's what I wanna hear. Double, double tap. And I'm just leading with the right every time right now, just so you can hear the smooth connection of the five stroke or the three movements of the hand. So. Now, if I want to speed them up, as I speed them up, I'm increase, all I'm doing is increasing the tension of my fulcrum. I'm not changing how hard I hit. I am just going to speed it up by increasing the squeeze on the fulcrum. Here we go. Slow. And that 
that's all I had to do was squeeze a little harder to speed up and loosen to get it slow. I can, I can really loosen to let it bounce slow. And I just make that bounce match the other one. So that's all I have to do. It's about stick control. And that's what we want to do in the class. When you alternate, you get and your goal is to make them sound the same. Okay, I'll do my best for you here. Okay, until you get a nice even stroke and an even five stroke roll. Typically a five stroke roll is an eighth note roll tied to another eighth note or tied to whatever other note. It could be any note, but it's an eighth note roll. Um, that's notation wise and that's how you would see it in music. So if you see an eighth note with, it already has a flag. So it, typically a roll has three lines over it, but since it's an eighth note, it already has a flag or a line, we can call it. Then it'll have two slashes over it, which still make it a 32nd. And that's that right, right, left, left. And then the next eighth note would be the right, the finish of the rudiment. So the rudiment actually is two notes that we'd put together, okay? And so I hope that's a help to you and very important five stroke rolls. Again, that is in your stars and stripes. And so you should work on that a lot, um, isolated. All right, thank you.